tailgating is one of the things that I miss most about game day. And even though we can't do a lot of tailgating at the stadium these days, there are plenty of good ways to still bring that experience home. And we've got a playbook full of fun ideas on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. Creating a fun tailgating experience, whether it's at the stadium or at home, is all about setting the right tone and that begins with the ambiance. And this rule pretty much applies to just about any festivity you're planning. Today, I'll show you how to create a DIY snack stadium, prepare a theme setting for your food and drink, show your team spirit by adding their colors to your setup, and much more. So since the stadiums have a little bit of limited capacity here at home this year, I thought it would be fun to bring the stadium home with the snack stadium. All right, so to get going with this, you're gonna need foam core board, craft paper if you wanna add a pop of color or grass to the surrounding area of your stadium, six, 12 or eight packs of soda or any canned beverage, and then you're gonna want a pack of straws craft glue, scissors, a tape measure, some decorative accessories. And the next thing I suggest is an aluminum pan like this, something like just about this size, I find works really well to fit in the stadium. I left the front part of the stadium off for camera purposes, but if you wanna fully enclose it, you would just repeat this side over there. All right, so I like to start with the foam core board and that's this base here. Keeps it all sturdy and if you do need to lift it and move it to a different table or area, this always helps. I pasted a little bit of green craft paper to it just for a little look of grass. You can also keep it white, whatever you prefer. In order to create these little snack containers, which will contain our fans, you're just gonna cut this in half. You measure it to the center, I like to just draw a cut line through. It's very easy to cut these, it's very thin cardboard. And then once you have your two pieces, I measure two inches up, I make a mark, and then I cut the angle on both sides. Another thing to just note, I glued a little bit of a uh, construction paper here on the back to line it. You could also line it with tin foil or any other parchment paper, whatever works, just to keep everything clean. And then for the finishing touches, it looks great to add a little bit of a, a piece of straw on the front. You could also add them on the sides to delineate the sections of the stands. So when you cut up all these boxes, you're gonna have a lot of cans, which is great because then that means a lot of drinks. So what you're gonna do with the cans is you're gonna stack them in the four corners of the snack stadium. So now we've got our stadium fans in attendance all of the snacks, and I, what I like to do is do a little bit of variety. I mean, you could put whatever snacks that you like, make it colorful, make it fun. So the accessories, you guys, is really what makes this stadium, okay? I went a little further and added the matchbox cars and a little parking lot out front if you wanna have some fun or something for the kids. All right, so we've got our stadium assembled. The only thing that's missing is our football field snack. And this is super easy. You're gonna cover the entire bottom pretty much with the guac and leave a little section on each area here for the end zone, and that will be salsa. I put the sour cream into a piping bag here, but if you get the kind with the squeeze top, that's pretty easy too. So now we have got our field ready for the stadium, and you can garnish with some of these fun toothpicks. Here you have your snack stadium, ready to watch the game and enjoy. All right guys, so if you don't wanna take on this snack stadium, which I think you should try because it's super fun, and if you do, make sure you share it on Instagram and hashtag us at SoFlo Home Project. But if you wanna try a simpler one, you could still do your dip or whatever foods, wings you wanna put in the middle and then get another aluminum tray that's just a little bit larger. And then you could even do veggies, you could do chips, and you can place them around the field. So using the two aluminum trays, super easy, also looks just as cute. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, get ready to prepare the field for kickoff. 
I'm Tacker Auto with FHIA and there are a lot of things to consider when deciding on your next home improvement project. We're going to help you determine who's the best contractor for you on today's SoFla Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing our tailgate at home or just fun tips in general if you want to enjoy a game, whether it's at home or if it's eventually at a stadium, things that you can do to make your tailgate a little more festive. So before the break, we built the snack stadium and if you are gonna try making one of those, I'm gonna show you a way you could display it. This table wrapping can be done on a kitchen island or peninsula or like this on a folding portable table and it's just super easy and fun. All you're gonna to need to do this, disposable green tablecloths, the green plastic tablecloths, and then of course, some painter's tape. This is just white tape that will be for our yard lines. And then if you want, get some electrical tape for thinner lines. So I got two sizes of white tape, scissor, and then you're gonna need a tape measure, a ruler, and of course, we're gonna do our yard line numbers. So some number stencils, which you can get at any hardware store or craft store, and a paint pen. All right, so we are gonna do a quick measure just to find the center of this table. So we are at 72, so I want my center is gonna be three feet right here, 36. I've got one inch thick white tape, and we are gonna use this where the mark is to create our yard line. All right, so we have our hash marks, we've got the yard lines, and next we are just gonna stencil our letters. I'm using this for sizing purposes, but once you get that on there, you can kinda mark it and then sort of make it your own. So this is looking great. We've got a good base to set out food and drinks, and I've got a lot more to show you and ways you can incorporate your team's color and make it a little more spirited. But first, let's see what Tack Granada from FHIA has for us today. I was walking through the airport recently and I was stopped and asked a really important question. This family was deciding to do a project for their home and they were really concerned about how to make the best decision for their contractor and they were asking me for some advice as I was walking by. And in talking to the family, it really came to light how important the home is to all of us right now more than ever, where our home has become more than just a place where we all live and, and get together for a dinner or, or go to sleep. It's become the schools for our children. It's become uh, the office for our work. So this family, now that they're spending more time at home more than ever, they really recognize some of the projects that they wanted to get done and they were so concerned about uh, making the right decision and making the best decision and how important is the contractor in the overall outcome of their project. So because of the, some of the things that we're not able to control like COVID and some of the guidelines set in place by CDC, so now, especially now, making that decision based on price, even more now than ever, will end up with a result that we're not gonna be happy with because those contractors are gonna be having a really difficult time getting materials, keeping their labor, uh, keeping things on a schedule. So when we're making this decision and we want it to go as well as possible, really value the contractor that you're entrusting to do this project for you more than ever because most likely you're gonna go with the best decision if that's your thought process. I know fitting it in your budget is always gonna be really important but really value who's gonna be responsible for not only doing this project, but if something were to go wrong, do they have the team in place to take care of that for you and how efficiently will that go? So I'm really glad they stopped me because not only were we, were we able to have a great discussion on some things that they could look forward to, but it really shed light on how important it is for all of us and some of the things that we should be considering in doing our next project. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So I think the football field tablecloth that we just did really complements tabletop decor. And it's a great base for any team colors. So I wanted to share with you guys some ways that you could decorate and display some of your food and drinks. So I set up a few different things and just some items that are always good to have on hand, whether it is for an at-home tailgate or any other type of festivities. I like to put levels on the table. 
So over here, this is actually just, you know, sort of a cake plate. And I put a separate charger on top. I chose a black and white striped plate. I thought it looked like referee uniform and sort of fit the festive football theme. So that's a great way to add a little height. Here I used a plain white tray, another great staple that you could have when decorating any food and beverage table, or any table actually works well for coffee tables too. So I lined it with some orange napkins, added some festive orange and green uh, Canes decor, and these football cups. So always try to look for things that bring in the theme, simple disposable cups, you know, easy accessories. I use this very inexpensive palm garland, which can be strung on the front of the table. Here I kind of placed it throughout just for a little interest. And then lastly, I like displaying drinks in a tub or bucket. I draped a black and white striped napkin through it. And I, I build it up a little bit so you have a little height and these kind of stick out of the top. You always want to add height underneath and kind of cheat it. And then the colored orange and green beverages look nice. Coming up next, we pull every trick from our playbook to score a big tailgate win. Having a leak in your roof can lead to some major damage if you don't get it repaired fast enough. Whether it's residential or commercial, All American Roofing can help, and we're here to find out how. All American Roofing, Shamika speaking, how may I help you? Susan, tell us about how All American Roofing can help homeowners when they realize they might have a, a leak and they don't know what to do about it. Sure. So we are here six days a week from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us, schedule an appointment. We'll be happy to come out to give a free estimate and let them know where their leak is coming from and what it would be to fix it. So how are you using technology to help the estimation process of roof replacement? So about uh, two, three years ago, we switched over to measuring the roofs by satellite. And now, as you can see, Maria Isabel is doing that. Uh, she takes a photo, she pulls up the roof on Google, and then she takes a photo of the roof, and we have software that actually measures the roof measures the slope, and we're able to get out the estimate within 24 hours. So there's a lot of different types of roofs and architectural styles here in South Florida. Do you guys handle all of that? And if so, which kinds? So we handle all types of roof, shingle, tile, flat. They have right now a new shingle out. It's called HDZ, and it's very important for South Florida because it has no wind limitation. The old shingles used to have 130 miles per hour wind limitation. Now the HDZ have no wind limitation. Wow, that's So huge. hurricanes of 150, 160, you're still covered. So Elena, we also do new construction on commercial buildings and even homes, new homes. This is one of the plans that we're going to be bidding. It's for one of our uh, management companies that manage these big shopping centers. Susan, so you guys do a lot of commercial roofing as well. And Correct. Does that cover just new roof construction or? No, it, it, it covers existing roofs. So sometimes we re-roof existing roofs or repair existing roofs. It will cover uh, new penetrations for when ACs go on top of roofs. You know, code requires them to be on top of roofs now. So that's called penetrations. They have to cut into the roof. So we have to make sure that roof is sealed once they cut into the roof. Anything from a little house, thousand square foot house, up to 100,000 square foot buildings. So no job, too big or too small, None. you've got it covered. None. <laughs> yeah. And now for any homeowners out there that might have noticed a leak or, or maybe you're thinking about fully replacing their roof, Mm -hmm. How do they contact All American Roofing? So they can call us at 954-772-ROOF. Uh, they can contact us at allamericanroof.com, and we'll be happy to accommodate them. And you'll be there. Well, it sounds right. like it's really easy to find, <laughs> and of course, a help with all of your home roofing needs. That's correct. We're continuing our ultimate tailgate at home. Since there is limited capacity at the football stadiums right now, we decided why not show you some fun ways to enjoy the game at home and get into the festive tailgating spirit. So, that being said, we showed you how to do the snack stadium, we showed you how to set up a nice table, but what about if you want to have some cool drinks displayed? So, super easy, mason jar, football mugs, right? All you're going to need for this 
obviously your mason jar. You're gonna need some electrical tape, just about this size here. It's probably about half an inch. Scissors. Some very thin rope. You can get this at a local hardware store or a craft store. Construction paper, and I've got these at a craft store as well. And of course, straws also in your favorite team colors. So easy. All you have to do is get your tape. I'd probably say about maybe a two inch piece of tape cut. And you're gonna place that right in the center of the glass, okay? This makes it easy. Using paint would be way messier and more time consuming. And now you are gonna cut shorter pieces and these should be about one inch. I like to do about three and you are just gonna place those in the center. All right, so you got your laces. They are done and now we just need to garnish this with a little spirit. So that's where the paper comes in to cut a little team pennant or flag. Here we got our Canes football mug and you could have fun with this, make a signature drink that goes in here or just fill it with cola and it totally looks like a real football. All right, so the next one, super easy. Everyone needs napkins on a great display of food and drink. So what better way to display them than with penalty flags? All you need to do is get cocktail napkins in that yellow color that we all know for penalty flags, and you're just gonna put them in a cup or a glass. What I did here, this was actually a decal I found at a craft store. I loved the fact that it looked like a referee, so I just added a little something but you could just put these in a glass and I like to fold them so you kind of get this flag look and I just layer them in the glass like that so you kind of get them almost just this loose effect of individual flags. And this is simply a chalk pen and a really, again, something you could find at any craft store just to sort of label and uh, let everyone know what it is. But super easy, very cute way to display your napkins and of course really brings in that football theme. Next on SoFlo Home Project, our game plan comes together for a great tailgate experience. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are on the last stop of our tailgate at home extravaganza showing you how to do some fun things for your own at-home tailgate. And now, since you may be at home watching the game this year, you may be thinking, if I'm gonna be having drinks and enjoying the game, I might wanna protect my table with coasters, but it is football season, so not just any old coasters will do. I'm gonna show you how to make some fun ones that fit game day. All you're gonna need for this, a four x four tile, some felt, and some craft glue, the paint pen that we have been using if you've been following along all day, and scissors. This one is so simple. I've already pre-cut this, otherwise you would just put the tile on the turf, trace it, cut it with scissors. All right, so I've glued this on, and now I'm gonna be using the paint pen to do, I'm gonna make a 50-yard line coaster, a 40, a 30, a 20, and a 10, so you can have a full set. And what we're gonna do is put the number in the center, I'm gonna create the yard line and then just do some hash marks with the pen. So it's just a series of lines, really easy. Okay, so there we have it. This is our coaster, football field, 50 yard line one. Um, again, you could do a whole set with all the different yard lines. It's a very cute thing. So the last tailgate project that I wanna share is actually a fun snack, good for the kids or any kid at heart. So all you're gonna need here is a pack of chocolate pudding and that white paint pen that we've been using all day. All you're gonna do is do the same thing we did with the mugs. So we are gonna make a vertical line down the center. I'm gonna make it a little thicker so it stands out. And you might wanna let that set up just a second before you start doing the laces across it because it might just not fully dry. All right, so you're gonna put these upside down when you put them on the plate. I'm glad we could end on a note with some sweet treats. And I hope that you guys got some great ideas to do some tailgates at your own home. Speaking of sweets, let's turn to the healthier side of things and see what Hunter Frankie from Soflo Health has for us tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? 
Hey Elena, I'm not sure if I'm on SoFlow Health or SoFlow Home Project, but we're doing yard work and we're telling you about the health benefits of doing so. Plus, carb cycling and how to use carbs to your advantage, a meditation course that you can take and it's free, plus the latest on COVID-19, it's all tomorrow right here on SoFlow Health, 1230 on Local 10. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of SoFlo Home Project. And we hope to keep you inspired each and every week. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we show you how to modernize your home by embracing clean lines. It's all part of our next designer tour.